Hey guys, make sure you stay until the end. If you make one common mistake, you can spend thousands of dollars on parts and diagnostics you don't need. Stay with us and we'll explain what we're talking about. Hey guys, welcome back to Auto Repair guys. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel and that will be super helpful video to any of you guys having a Toyota Sienna, this generation right here from year 2011 to year 2020. If you have one of those and if you need to find where the dome light fuse is located guys, uh, if your dome lights do not work, we'll explain which fuses you need to check, where you can buy cheap parts to use, fuses realize at a good price, quick shipping, that way you do not waste your money and time and why it's important to test fuses and realize all that guys will be covered up absolutely free for your convenience, make sure it's there until the end. So before we start, let us tell you a little bit about us guys. Every single car we get here at the garage, we try to make at least two to 300 free repair videos. We take things completely apart, we show you guys how to do electrical, mechanical, bodywork, a little bit of everything guys. If you have one of those vehicles that we're making videos on, subscribe. We will put quite a few videos that can save you thousands of dollars in future repairs. All together guys, on our channels, we have more than 12,000 free repair videos that can save you thousands of dollars. Now, also, if you need to buy any parts to use at a good price, quick shipping, that way guys, you do not waste your money and time, we'll share in our videos where you can buy parts, tools, uh, fuses, relays, because some fuses guys and relays are special, specific, especially for that Toyota Sienna, you have those special fuses right here, uh, you also have that special integration relay right here, and the other relays, we'll put a link in the description of the video below where you can get them at a good price, quick shipping guys, uh, because sometimes they could be also really hard to find. So let's go ahead and start on it now. So now guys, the dome light fuses, where you can expect to find them, we'll demonstrate on this 2012 Toyota Sienna right here. Now, you guys have two different fuse boxes in that minivan and today we work in both. The first one is on the driver's side, open the door. Here, if you look above the pedals on the left side under the dash, look upside down, you will notice that you have one white cover that looks like this one. Go ahead guys, remove that cover and you will find the interior fuse box, that's the layout here. Before we continue, let's explain quickly why it's always a good idea to test fuses and relays. So, it is super important guys to always test fuses and relays and something else as well, common mistakes people make. Sometimes you may think that a fuse is good or uh, uh, you cannot actually see if the fuse is clearly burned and in that case guys you may need, uh, you may put the fuse back together uh, and you may end up spending money and time on parts you don't need and uh, all we had to do is just test the fuse. So we'll put a link in the description of the video below how to test the fuse, it takes only a few seconds to find find out for sure if it's good or bad. The same thing for relays guys, okay? Uh, some of those could be really expensive on cars, so we'll put a link in the description of the video below how you can test relays. And for some certain fuses guys, it's important to disconnect the car battery when removing them, otherwise you can burn the electronics. And uh, for instance, working on airbags, fuses or anything like that, you need to wait at least one hour after disconnecting the car battery. And if you're not qualified and certified to work on airbag system, I will never recommend to do that guys. Uh, but when disconnecting the car battery, guys, okay, common mistake people make, it's important to know which battery terminal you disconnect, reconnect first, if you do it the wrong way you can burn electronics modules, how we know about that? We burn uh, before the uh, traction control module on BMW that cost is $2,000 guys, so uh, we'll put a link in the description of the video below which battery terminal to disconnect first, check it out for your convenience. So here we need to check one fuse, then we need to go to a different fuse box. The fuse that we need to check, that's 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21 guys. That fuse 21 right here, you will need to check it. Next, open the hood. Under the hood, facing the engine, on the right side you have a fuse box under this cover. Go ahead, open it. And here you'll find that fuse box layout. Now, uh, let's go and open the same fuse box, just the top view so you can clearly see here. And the fuse that we need to check is fuse number 37, that 7 and a half M fuse right here. You will need to check. Hopefully the video will be helpful. Thank you for watching. See you guys next time.